When you have a three-man attacking trio led by Neymar, Kylian Mbappe, and Lionel Messi, you will back your team to go all out and score all sorts of goals. Mauricio Pochettino is a lucky man indeed. The Argentine technician has all three men to rely upon this season. When you look at Paris Saint-Germain's midfield, it is more than just good enough to keep that front three busy all year long. Welcome to Goal 90, everyone. Today, we are going to have a discussion about the five teams from the yesteryears that can beat the current PSG lineup. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never have to miss out on our content ever again. Number five, AC Milan under Carlo Ancelotti. Many people have forgotten Carlo Ancelotti's claim to fame was during his time at AC Milan, where he won the Champions League trophy during the 2002-03 season. That Milan side was comprised of some of the greatest players of that era. With the legendary Andriy Jevchenko leading the line alongside Felipe Unzaghi, the two men had enough creative elements around them in the shape of Andre Pirlo, Clarence Seedorf, and Rui Costa. The back line was also very stable, with Alessandro Nesta and Paolo Maldini forming a formidable partnership. Could this team beat the current PSG side? We think so. Number four, Zidane's Real Madrid. Between 2013 and 2018, Real Madrid won four Champions League titles. Los Blancos boasted quite a squad. Cristiano Ronaldo was scoring goals like a machine and was well backed by the ever reliable Karim Benzema. Gareth Bale still prioritized football over golf, while Toni Cruz and Luka Modric were also in their peak. This Real Madrid team could have easily tamed the force of nature that PSG are looking these days. Number three. Manchester United under Sir Alex. Okay, so the Manchester United squads under Sir Alex were not always lit with flair in every position, but Sir Alex Ferguson never needed a lot of that. The great Scott was the master of creating the right attacks and pretty much always got the best out of his team. Sir Alex's sides specialized in controlling strategically built teams such as PSG, and whether it was the Eric Cantona era or the Andy Cole, or the Dwight York era, or the trio of Wayne Rooney, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Carlos Tevez, you would back the Red Devils to show PSG a lesson in humility. Furthermore, with Roy Keane, a true leader of men, you could be certain that the likes of Neymar, Messi, and Mbappe would be nursing their ankles at the end of 90 minutes. Number two, Bayern Munich under Jupp Hinkes. Bayern Munich have a tendency to tame the very best. Under the tutelage of Detmar Kramer, the Bavarians won three European Cups between 1974 and 1976. That squad boasted some of the greatest players in the game's history, such as the late Gerd Müller, Sepp Meyer, Franz Beckenbauer, and Uli Honus. It took the Germans 26 years to return to the European glory under Ottmar Hitzfeld in 2000. However, it was Jupp Hickness who played a pivotal role in the return of Bayern Munich among the Europe's elite. His team was loaded with talent. Bastian Schweinsteiger was an all-conquering presence in the midfield while Iron Robin and Frank Ribery were the best wingers on the planet. Thomas Müller was a rising star and Mario Mandzukic was also in his prime. That Munich side managed to get the better of Borussia Dortmund in the 2013 Champions League final. However, we have a feeling that if this team was brought back from time, it would get the better of PSG's star-studded lineup. Number one, Barcelona under Guardiola. Under Pep Guardiola, Barcelona won two Champions League titles and became one of the greatest sides in football history. Interestingly enough, both European triumphs came at the expense of Sir Alex Ferguson's Manchester United. That Barcelona squad boasted a star-studded lineup. In the first triumph, there was a front three comprising of Thierry Henry, Samuel Eto'o, and rising star Lionel Messi. Xavi and Andreas Iniesta were on the cusp of greatness, while Sergio Busquets was quietly becoming one of the best midfielders of his time. In 2009, Guardiola's football philosophy reached its zenith as the Blaugrana became domestic and European champions. But that was just the beginning. 
Two years later, the Spanish giants would meet United once again. This time around, the likes of Henri and Eto were gone and replaced by David Villa and Pedro, who were brought in to get the best out of Messi. The Argentine was already a star by then and played a big role in the 3-0 humbling of Sir Alex's men at Wembley. Barcelona under Guardiola was an unstoppable force of nature. They played football that made the Kraufian enthusiasts proud, but it was no surprise that Barcelona's players formed a core of Spain's national sides that won two European championships and the World Cup in South Africa. Is there any team better than the Guardiola-led Barcelona side to give PSG a lesson for the ages? If so, which legendary team do you think would stop this star-studded ensemble at Parc des Princes? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and make sure to like and subscribe.